long. How, how different is it to kind of insert yourself as a veteran, a leader, knowing that you've got to kind of work your way through the personalities and things that go on in the yeah, I think the first thing you want to do is just get to know everybody, you know. So I'm not trying to come in and just start trying to like you know give speeches and motivate guys. You know, you just kind of come in and learn people. And we got a, a you know great group of guys. You know, a lot of dyma- different dynamic personalities. And so right now it's just uh, you know kind of build relationships. And uh, you know, I mean that's kind of what campus for anyway is you know fine tune your technique, but kind of becoming the team. And that is just building those relationships. So you know uh, all the other stuff will come organically when it comes. Well, as you. Well, I mean, I don't really think it's that difficult. I think uh, it's really just understanding the terminology, understanding the kind of all the different things we can do, and it gets to a place where we can play free. And I think they did a really good job in the, uh, in the spring of really getting guys prepared. I could tell, like especially in the D-line room, it's a clear understanding of what we want to do and what we can do. Uh, you know, a guy like Sealer, he's just a, a very uh, cerebral guy and understands at a high level, and we're already talking about things we can do when we're out there together. And so it's kind of kind of cool to see another like brilliant mind that understands the game at a high level. Um, but, you know, I mean, this defense is a very, very interesting defense. You know, it's hard for office coordinators because we could just do so much and we could do some things that, like, you know, look so different, but it's kind of similar. And it's just you could throw a lot of wrenches in the game plan just by small adjustments. And so really cool defense. You know, I think uh, Coach Weave is, a, you know, another guy who just, you know, he gets it, understands, you know, a high level on how to take advantage of it. And you know, I'm excited to go out there and compete for him. What would you, I guess, follow up on that? What would you say to I- Yeah, I mean, the style of defense is really built off of, you know, uh, off of being able to blitz different ways, you know, a lot of simulated pressures, and then, you know, then, you know, full out pressures and, uh, you know, making it look like you're blitzing, but you're really not. You're only rushing four, but, you know, from an offensive mindset, it's a blitz because, you know, you got guys dropping, a lot of D linemen drop. You know, uh, I've, uh, I've almost caught a couple of picks in this defense. You know, I've dropped a few, uh, but, you know, batted balls, I'll take a PBU, you know. Uh, but this defense is unique in the sense that, like, anybody can do anything at any given time. I mean, I think every time you come on this field, you better prove it. You know, <laughs> yeah, I think if you if you go off your history, you know, I mean, you should retire. <laughs> you know, uh, I think every time I step on the field, I got to prove it to my teammates, got to prove it to myself, I got to prove it to everybody that I can go out there and still be a be a force to be reckoned with. You know, and uh, you know, I mean, today's first day of camp. You know, I'm not expecting to go out there and just be you know the best player on the field by any means, especially the way I prepare and the way I go through things. Uh, you know, but you know, within a few weeks, I feel like you know it should definitely show. You know, but today was a good, really first day just to get back out there. And, you know, you had to kind of, you know, I mean, I don't care who you are. It's a little doubt that comes in. Like, can I still do it at a high level? Can I still be that guy? And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I know I can be. Do you think you're still a 600 snap plus player? Uh, I mean, um, I think that, you know, the team probably doesn't want me to be on a high level like that. But I think so, yeah. I think uh, we have to kind of talk through like what the you know actual like full plan is. I think right now is just kind of figuring out you know kind of you know going through everything again and kind of seeing where we're at. But I could definitely play 600 plays in my opinion and go out there and give you a quality quality ball for pretty much all of them. Can you reintroduce a little bit to the Miami humidity that you haven't seen since uh, college? Today was a nice day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, today was a nice day. <laughs> this is a good first day. You know, uh, that cloud coverage was whew, very much appreciated. You know, um, I say though, um, you know, I mean, the way I take care of my body, you know, I can handle anything. You know, uh, I mean, I just got to keep keep hydrating, you know, stay on my routine, and, you know, I'll be fine. Clay, ne- next week is the uh, induction to the Hall of Fame. I don't know if that's something you've given much thought to personally. What do you think a Super Bowl championship would do for your resume? <laughs> be huge. <laughs> you know, uh, and I'm, I'm a big football fan, first and foremost, before I'm a player. And, um, you know, the next week, you know, I got a couple friends that are getting in. You know, um, I mean, Andre Johnson, you know, uh, Dwight Freeney, I mean, these guys are, you know, you know, guys I've got, you know, great respect for and great relationship with, and uh, you know, it would be cool to be there and, uh, and watch them get get inducted. But you know, uh, I, I do have those aspirations, and uh, you know, I know that winning the Super Bowl would be monumental for that. And I believe this team has the capabilities to win the Super Bowl. Obviously, you know, it's, it's going to be tough. You know, I mean, you know, the AFC is a gauntlet. A lot of talented teams, teams that uh, that want it just as bad as we do. And, uh, you know, I think we got to have that mindset that we got to go and just, you know, go take it from them. You know, and it's not going to be an easy route, but uh, we got, you know, a great group of guys that are capable of doing the job. Just got to do it when the time counts. And uh, right now we're just building that foundation. But today is the worst we're going to be all year, you know. And uh, that's the mindset we got to have is that every day if we're working to get better, then this is the worst we'll be all season. Clay, as uh, you heard Johnny 
say a couple minutes ago that you can't put a price on the amount of money you invest into your body in the off season. You heard Tyreek say yesterday he's even done I think stem cell treatment and over the course of your career, how have you seen that develop the league and players develop in terms of how you take care of your body in the off season? Yeah, uh, guys are a lot smarter with that. You know, uh, just you know how to take care of your body. You know, when I first got to the league, it was a whole different mindset. You know, I mean. Crazy to think about the changes, you know. I mean, it's you know, 16, 17 years. Uh, you know, uh, I don't think that the information was just available back then. And uh, you know, a lot of guys, the mindset, the, even the, the amount of plays we played was different. You know, I mean, we're playing so many more plays a game now with the way you know, you know, we're just throwing the ball so many more, so much more often. So the game has changed a lot. But I will say though, um, the last like you know, you know, 10 years, really last five years for sure. You know, the information has really traveled all through all the locker rooms. You know, I've had so many guys ask me my, my, my routine and my plan and things I tried. And um, I've, I'm always open book. I always share my knowledge. But, you know, I, I spent a lot of time and effort and uh, resources into my body. That's a big reason why I've been able to play, you know, well, uh, you know, late in my career. I think you'll see a lot more of that. You know, guys start to play better as they get older because of the, the way the, you know, just science is and understanding how to take care of your body. You know, I think you'll see a lot of guys dominant, playing dominant ball post 30, which is a big difference how it used to be. What's the, what, do think, more guys. what do you think like the most dramatic change you had to make in your career in terms of you know self-preservation? Yeah. Something that you did or, or do that when you started your career probably would have taken you by surprise. I mean, I've done so many different things, you know. I, I can't give you one thing because I don't really know which one was the big, the main one. But you know, I think uh, you know just understanding how the body works, the anatomy, how uh, you know like you know just I mean you know with food and hydration. And uh, the different, uh, you know, supplements you could take, and then uh, all the different machinery that's out there to help you, you know, recover faster, and just like I mean, just the information. You know, I, I, I feel like I became a, a, a biologist, you know, or trying to understand the body a lot better. You know, uh, so I mean, that's became a you know a big part of what I do, and you know, I mean, it's worked so far. It's hopefully, it works one more year. <laughs> Last question. He felt small uh, next to you. Uh, he's six six, three hundred. Uh, have you ever been around someone that made you? Oh, yeah, of course. You know, I got some friends in the NBA. You know, I remember my first time around Tyson Chandler, who's like 7'2". It's just like, this is how guys must feel. I, I never – I get it all the time. Like, man, I've been sitting over there. I'm, like, I'm not used to being – then I stand next to him. I'm like, wow, that's, that's the feeling I had, you know.